Well, to me, it's like a comedy adventure story, which I so it's, I think it's uh, it's funny because Lewis Carroll is funny to me. Uh, but I think there's a lot of heart to it too. That's uh, very important to me. All my films thus far, I've had that in it, and it's very important to me that things happens. Ah, well, you see, time is Lewis Carroll's idea. When Hatter first meets Alice in the book, Hatter says to him, "I'm stuck at this tea party because last March, time and I quarrelled." So, time to Lewis Carroll was a person, and we all thought that's a brilliant idea for a character. And hence, Sacha Baron Cohen could be that character because he's hilarious. Well, I think Alice learns to appreciate time. I think at the beginning of the movie, she kind of blames time for stealing her father. And then through the course of the movie, she learns to appreciate the passage of time and that we all should just take a step back and appreciate where we are and when we are. And if we do that, we have no regrets. It's a great lesson, I think. Well, because I think Alice is a very interesting girl. She was very unusual at the time. She was very outspoken. She had her own feelings about the situation. She didn't suffer fools gladly and was very you know, keen to do her own thing. And I think that's a very modern idea for a very old character. And so in many ways, she's way ahead of her time. So it's amazing that even 150 years later, we're still talking about her because of that very thing. Yeah, well, the messages of the movie are many, uh, but one of the ones that I think is most important is the, the appreciation of time. But there's also the idea that you, can, you can't change the past, but you can learn from it. And again, if, I think if humanity listened to that idea, we'd be a lot better off, frankly. I've just got here and it's completely crazy. I mean, it's because it's, I mean, it's kind of raining a little bit and everyone here is having an amazing time. And it's just really overwhelming, really. It really is. It's just fantastic to see. Well, we showed it to Pink. And obviously, when you have some, an artist of her caliber do a song for you, you want to make sure she's involved in every step of the way. And I have... Her takeaway from that sort of idea was Alice's Independence, which the song is just like fire about. You know, no, no one can be like me anyway, which is really nice. It's about, I think the song mirrors Alice's personality very nicely. And that, well, I was very pleased with it. Yeah, well, in this film, the design of it, of course, we have to live in the world of Tim's first movie, which is so utterly beautiful. And I'm so pleased to have that to work from. But at the same time, when you make a film, you bring something of yourself to it. And so I really hope that I bought, for me, uh, maybe a sort of lightly, lighter comedic touch to it, possibly. Well, the world of Lewis Carroll, and particularly John Tenniel, who's illustrator, is so spectacularly interesting. It only feels like we've only just been able to do justice to it in the film medium. And certainly in the past six years, the advances of CG and the technique, we can do some amazing stuff. And it's really, it's a spectacle for sure. It's going to be amazing.